Now, normally I don't make it a point to to cover every music video that comes out, but the, I found two in the trending on YouTube today that were worth sharing, in my opinion, because when I looked at them, I noticed that they were they didn't seem to be, um, you know, it wasn't just. I guess it's the timing. That's what I'm trying to say. The timing of these videos is a little too perfect. Um, when you look at the things that we have been discussing a lot recently, and that is the end of the patriarchy and the rise of the matriarchy and the the rise of the AI, the, the artificially intelligent robots, um, these videos, which should take months to make, and maybe even I don't know how many, um, how much time in advance to plan out and to shoot and do all of these things for them to drop at this time. To me, speaks of prior knowledge. You know, kind of like with the Katy Perry video where she is, um, she becomes this Joan of Arc character and. She sets off to um, get back at the the male pigs, and this is you know another uh, feminist um, message. And so these things take, in my I don't know I don't I don't work in the business, but in my opinion, these things take uh, planning and much time to prepare. So for them to all kind of hit at the same time, to me, speaks of prior knowledge of the 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 messages that would be already out there for these videos to come along and sort of uh what do you call it piggyback on those things that we're seeing every day so in this um first video that I want to just briefly talk about is from Justin Timberland um in this video we have Justin, excuse me, I don't have these slides in proper order. So let me just, okay. So we have Justin Timberlake come out as the Steve Jobs-esque um, person here. And he introduces his <clears throat> robot. And this robot comes out, initially, it comes out on strings. Okay, I went a little too far. Let me go back. So when he brings this robot out at first, he brings it out on strings, or not on strings, but on cords. Uh, sort of like I'm thinking about that old Pinocchio song. I've got no strings now <laughs> since I've said strings. But anyway, he brought them out and he was plugged in. So the the robot was a robot. That was it while he was plugged in. But eventually the plugs come out, and now the robot is dancing and at the same time Justin Timberlake is backstage dancing and it, and it appears you can read it two ways maybe that he is acting he is remote controlling the robot to do these dance moves or that he just happens to be doing the dance moves at the same time that the robot is doing them I think the the intent is that Justin Timberlake is remote controlling the robot and the robot is repeating the dance moves that Just Justin Timberlake is doing. And so in this, um, of course, you have the crowd who are just loving it and eating it up. And in my opinion, they are worshiping the image of the beast here. <laughs> and so... What also happens in this video is there's this one part where the where the robot is doing these lewd dance moves with the female singers, or not singers, but the dancers, female dancers on the stage. And I can't help but think of the iron mixing with miry clay when I see this one part where the robot has a woman in the so-called um, missionary <laughs> position. <laughs> so... Anyway, and now I'm thinking about something else here. I'm looking at that, and I'm thinking about that. What is that? The 
almost square and compass like sort of shape I'm seeing here. Maybe like the so-called Star of David too, where the female's legs, her legs are forming the inverted triangle, the one pointing down and the feminine. And I suppose that the position of the robot or even the women behind him could be forming the the masculine or the triangle pointing up. But anyway, so at towards the end of this video, the robot is he his he has three almost like projector like lights emanating from him. And he we can see that he is projecting something. Maybe an illusion or whatever. And that is when Justin Timberlake or the Steve's job or the creator of the robot begins to fade away almost like he was merely a hologram or an illusion in the first place so what is the message of this video is it saying that that the machine has surpassed the creator is it saying that we are um in some way illusions which is probably gnostic and in thought about us being trapped in an illusion but i'm i'm thinking the message here is that the robot has made the creator obsolete and so the creator begins to fade away or realize that he was just an illusion And in a, another video that caught my eye, oh, what's his name? I'm forgetting his name. How can I forget his name? Jay Z. Jay Z has a the video about what I, what I mentioned earlier about the rise of the matriarchy. And one of the first um, pictures that we see in this video, we we have the quote from James Baldwin that in my mind echoes the the thoughts that have been expressed by the elite and saying that humans or the profane you know the common the cattle are worthless eaters and that we're you we're using up too much space and we need they need to reduce the population for their mother gaia or mother nature and in this quote says the wretched of the earth do not decide to become extinct they resolve, on the contrary, to multiply. Life is their weapon against life. Life is all that they have. So he is literally telling us that the wretched, the, us the profane, the, the, the regular people, are the wretched of the earth, the, the disease, the plague on the earth, on their mother Gaia or their mother Sophia. And rather than become extinct as we should, we multiply. And that was God's direction to us. He told us to be fruitful and multiply. But in their opinion, we are a plague and we keep spreading instead of just dying out. And this is the... And it, okay, so what happens in this video is... I guess it's essentially set in a post-war future. And I can't remember exactly how many years. I think it was about... Let's see. I saw one title card. No, I mean not title card. But I saw one card that said... The, the date card that was like 2444. So that's a bunch of twos and fours right there. Um, if somebody feels like adding all that up or doing the, doing the math on that to see what hidden message is in there, be my guest. I don't feel like doing it. But the year was that the year that this scene was taking place, where you see this woman here, was the year twenty four forty four, I believe. If I'm not, yeah, that's right. And she is found in bed by what I guess is her brother, and she has another man in the bed. And but the point is, one of them is going to be the heir to the throne. And the brother is upset because apparently, since we are in a matriarchal system now, after this war, 
he is no longer the in line for the throne. The woman is. And while he begins to put his hands on her, the man that was in the bed with her. Did I get the screenshot? I don't believe I got the. Yeah, but I didn't get the screenshot of the man. Too bad. Well, anyway, the man that was in the bed with her gets out of the bed and he kills her brother, I guess. And so while he thinks that he's going to, <laughs> he thinks he's going to get in on this little royalty deal, she decides to stab him in the side and kill him and say the words that she says it wasn't his, it's not yours, the throne is mine. So this is just this Jezebel type of mentality here where, you know, men have been totally knocked off of their position that God put them at. And I'm not what you would call a, a misogynist or anything. I'm just saying that God has a reason for for making man the head. And when the order is turned upside down, nothing good is going to come out of it. And in my opinion, <laughs> this is just, no, I won't even get into, everybody knows what I think about, you know, why this is going on. So, like I mentioned, this is a post-war period. I believe the war was said to happen around the year 20, I can't remember exactly what the year was, but it was a little bit in the future. Was it twenty twenty? I think that's I think that's what it was. So this was. Now you see in this picture, you see people fighting with mace, um, not even maces, but looks like baseball bats with spikes in them and and makeshift swords and things like that. And <clears throat> I guess you would look at that and say, well, why would people be fighting with so so um, much primitive weapons, right? Well, think about it. If World War Three was to happen, and this war was just so, just devastating that it knocked us back into like the Stone Age, <laughs> we would these would be the weapons of our warfare. And so you you see these people in this almost like medieval like setting, and one man, and you even have one man with wearing like a helmet and chain mail, and one man who has this little girl on a horse a flag and tells her to carry it in her family's name now why isn't that a boy on that flag because after this war this what i'm assuming is the third world war they are bringing in the matriarchy and their mother goddess or whatever so there is one scene in the video where they explain that after the war, America was essentially remade, I guess. And it was remade not by people who, quote, make people afraid of each other, which is a reference to Donald Trump, I believe. They're trying to say that he created a world where World War Three was possible. And after that, now, instead of the founding fathers, when America is being remade, you have the founding mothers where they a bunch of women sit down at a table and they decide they decide that they are going to go over the constitution and everything that made America what it was and fix it <laughs> you know i guess it needed a woman's touch now because look where it got us right i mean look where the old way the old ways got us under the patriarchy so is this just it's just this just propaganda getting us to buy into this this marxism this um this this socialist system that they want to put us under or is does it is it going to lead anywhere is it all just i mean i, I would like people to think about that is what we see with the Justin Timberlake video and in, in, in this video with Jay-Z depicting the 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 end of the, the patriarchy. And not only that, but a return to 
the system where you have a um a monarchy you know you have a, r- a royal family and then you have the the commoners or the what are what do you call them not the commoners but the the i don't know i can't remember the word where the elite are going to be ruling as kings and queens and the bible does say that they receive that these kings receive um their kingdom they receive their power with the beast for one hour so is it possible that this is really just depicting something that they are actually planning to carry out or is it just a fun little video and maybe i'm just looking too deep into it or whatever so um beyonce is in this video as well wearing all black she's the black madonna the black virgin the mother goddess of course and they set this video in a cathedral a catholic cathedral because it can't be you know it can't just be any old uh example of real christianity it has to be the roman catholic christianity which is you know of course just mary worship mary and her son s-u-n worship and you know they had to have they had to have at least one moment where somebody put their eye in the i guess what some people say is a sign of typhon i have to actually look into that peace sign to get the exact true meaning of it i feel like there's a little bit more to it but mm, is that it i believe i i think that's pretty much oh of course you have also beyonce wearing black and white at the end the duality the uh, the opposites in harmony you can't have you can't have good or you can't just have evil you have to have both good and evil the knowledge of good and evil darkness and light everything everything is in harmony and of course the 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 duality goes for their their goddess or their serpent <laughs> as well Yeah, I believe that's pretty much it. Okay, yep. So, anyway, that's just something to think about. Is it is it really just just coincidence or are these videos actually telling us the plans? So, I'm just going to leave you with that. So, thanks for watching and thanks for listening and Jesus bless you.